Hello, fellow fans of Halo. And today, we're talking about the tragedy that is, well, Halo Infinite. And if you're wondering why I'm calling it a tragedy in the first place, it's because I actually love the game. The gameplay is probably the best gameplay, like feel for how when you move around and everything, is the best in Halo. Ever. You could argue maybe Halo 5, you liked it better, but personally I didn't. I love this the best. And the campaign for this game, now I wouldn't say it's up to 2-3 par, but I say it's just below that, at least in my personal <clears throat> enjoyability. Sorry if my voice sometimes gets weak. I'm a little sick at the moment. But yeah, personally, I think it's you know a tragedy what's happened in this game because honestly, this game has so much potential, so much. Now starting things off, the gameplay is just amazing. Like the fill, the move, like the grapple hook, all that, amazing. The the weapons in the in the game are amazing too. It all functions and flows really well. I mean, the only complaint I could have about the weapons in the game is that they took away the old Halo Magnum. But that's that's it. That's all I can really argue about the weapons. I mean, obviously I want them to add some more, like the fuel rod cannon and some other stuff that have been taken away. You have the pulse carbine, blah blah blah. But yeah, besides that, everything's kind of perfect. At least how every weapon that's in the game functions perfectly, except desync. But we're not going to get into that. Um, next is movement. Movement is perfect. Literally, like walking around, running around with the grapple hook, with the thrust pack. It's amazing. The sandbox just really works well. Except, you know, besides uh, the developers struggling to um, develop on it, besides that, in-game it really just really works well and is really fun. And personally, I put over maybe like 150 hours in the game, about 100 on PC and like 50 on my Xbox. I think it just, it's just so, it feels so fun to play. But the issue with the game was never the how fun it was to play it was the content that's the tragedy this game had so much potential and you were waiting for like maps new game modes like infection didn't come for like ever it we, we waited so long and i don't think it has come yet i think many people made forge mods creating it but it's yet to been added to like the general playlist and it's one of the, you know, it's one of the game modes that is synonymous with Halo, like Big Team Battle and, and Slayer and SWAT, all those games. It, it's, it's, it's synonymous with Halo, and it's not in the game. It still isn't. Over a year later. Actually, I don't even know how long it's been. Has it been almost two years? No, no, it hasn't. It's, it's been only a year, but yeah. It's, it's just really, really sad. And, you know, with all the issues going on on Microsoft, with the, you know, what was it? The <laughs> 300 layoffs at 343 and the 10K layoffs overall at Microsoft, it's definitely not going to help Halo with, you know, 300 less people working on the game, which is just a, so sad because it's just, making the hope I have left dwindle. And that's the other thing which makes me even more sad is that I still have hope for this game. I still do. It, it, it you know, it has slowly shrunk and dried up, but I still have hope, which is so odd to me. But there is something to kind of look forward to if they implement it right with the amazing sandbox, all the movement, all the guns, all the weapons. All the vehicles, especially. The vehicles are actually so awesome in this game. But, uh, yeah, with all those, they'll, with the, the Tatanka, if you don't know what, it means, what I'm talking about, the Tatanka game mode that they're working on, I think that's how you say it. I, I might be saying it wrong, Tatanka. It's the big, um, like, war zone or... Um, uh, it, it, I think it's a... Like, Fortnite, it's the... Uh, I remember the word, Battle Royale. 
it's <coughs> probably a battle royale of sorts, and <clears throat> I think it has a real great potential to help save Halo in the long run. I really do, honestly. If they implement it right, because they have all the all the tools they need, literally all of them, amazing sandbox, amazing all that. They just have to make sure to put it in a good um, format. The thing is, though, this isn't being done by 343. It's another studio. I can't remember. But that is why I still have a little bit of hope. Also, let's go Let's go over Forge. I think the Forge in this game is fantastic. I've taken looks at it when it came out. I haven't really played Halo full, you know, Halo, not full time. It's kind of like a weird way of putting it, but like, played Halo consistently and regularly for like probably half a year since the first season ended and when the second season came out I kind of I touched the game a little bit but I never really got back into it sadly but that is one thing that's great about Halo is that they have the best battle pass system probably out there where you can just go back to old ones that you purchased which is so nice, honestly, because, you know, maybe once Halo becomes, you know, what I believe it can become, I'll be able to enjoy Halo and unlock all that stuff I didn't get while I'm, you know, not motivated to play the game, if that makes sense at all. So, I have, yeah, I have lots of hope for this game. The Forge is amazing. I think it's still technically in beta, but it is out. So, you can, uh, you know, build stuff and what whatnot. But I think, I don't know, I think, this may be, this is hearsay, uh, that they're planning on adding, like, AI to the, the Forge mode so you can make your own, um, like, I don't know, like your own little war, like with the Covenant and stuff like that, or sorry, the, the, the Banished, and I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't know 100% that's being added, but it's pretty rumored that that's what's going to happen when it fully comes out. I think they're just working on it. Um, yeah, so so we talked about the sandbox with the movement, the vehicles, the guns, etc. Honestly, this game looks so stunning. Like playing on a Halo in the campaign was so nice, and I am so excited. And I played it in Legendary um, uh, on my Xbox and my PC. But uh, yeah, I. I'm so excited for the DLC whenever it comes out. I, I, I'm pretty sure they're making a DLC and not going to the next Halo because they did say that this Halo game is the next, the only Halo for like 10 years, which I hope they honor that because I have put too much money into the store after having a little bit of FOMO in the beginning of the game coming out, but now it's kind of gone. I am curious though on your guys' opinions. Did you guys love Halo Infinite when it came out? Like like I did? Because honestly, when it came out, I was so happy. Like, I thought it was perfect. No joke. I thought it was a perfect game. Except for the content, obviously. But yeah, I thought it was perfect. And it just worked. Everything worked. The gameplay was amazing. Even the maps, sadly, they're so few. And the content is so, like, literally none. No content except for the Battle Pass. We're practically playing on the same maps we played on a year ago, which is sad. Practically no game modes added, only a couple, which is just so sad. Sorry if this seems kind of like a rant, because, well, it is a rant about the, you know, the issue with the game, obviously, and all that, and the hope I have for the game still, sadly. I, I kind of wish I didn't have the hope, because then maybe I'd be, um surprised if they actually do something but yeah i don't know tell me what you guys think below i i, I really i'm kind of i'm really split on the game i love it but i can't play it like i, I just it's it's a hard it's hard for me because i kind of burn myself out after months of playing it like just months and months and months of playing it non-stop but yeah thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it honestly if you guys you know agree or don't agree or whatnot tell me down below subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one have a good day